Colby, it's been a hectic few days, but how pleased are you to have signed for Porto Football Club? <laughs> I'm over the moon. I think, you know, just walking through here today, the atmosphere of the place, even when people aren't here, the club, when you, when you walk around the town this morning, it's just, it's crazy to be here and I'm, I'm so excited to, to crack on. What did Danny Cowley say to make you decide this was the best move for you? I think um, as much as the gaffer, obviously we spoke a lot, I think the club kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? You know, I've played here before, the atmosphere every time you come, the size of the club, it's, it's amazing. And I think speaking to the gaffer, I think the club at the moment wants to, has got the same, you know, ambitions as me of pushing up the leagues and stuff like that. So I think it suits perfectly and hopefully together we can do that. What can the fans expect to see from you in a Pompey shirt? Hard work. Um, I think that's a lot of feedback from what I've had in the past. Every time I put the shirt on, I'll work as hard as I can, score goals, hopefully. And also, you know, I like to think I've got a bit more that I can help other my teammates around me. You enjoyed three prolific years at Accrington Stanley. Do you look back fondly on your time with the club? Yeah, I've got nothing but kind words to say about Accrington. They've been amazing with me. The fans from day one were amazing. And I'm hoping the relationship I had there, I can, I can build here. You worked your way up through the non-league game after leaving Notts County as a youngster. How did that period help mould you as a footballer? I think it was possibly the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, it, it gave me a realisation. I, um, I used to, to work as a PE teacher and play part-time as well. So, you know, I was, it was quite busy. And it made me realise <laughs> when you've got time in the day, what you can do with it. And since being in professional football again, I've used that time and it's paid off. So I'm hoping coming to a club like this with the facilities, I can get even stronger. You've played at Fratton Park before in an Accrington shirt, but how much are you looking forward to running out in front of a packed house as a Pompey player for the first time on Saturday? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, like I've said, coming here as, a, as an away team, it's mesmerising, but I can only imagine what it's like wearing these colours and this strip in front of when you're one of their own. So I can't wait. Joe Piggott also arrived last week. How excited are you to be working alongside him? No, definitely. I've, I mean, I've played against him quite a few times, especially when he was at Wimbledon, and he's obviously a very good player, so... I'm hoping that we can build a partnership. And it's not long now until the opening league game at Sheffield Wednesday. Do you think you can hit the ground running at Hillsborough? Yeah, don't see why not. Obviously, I'm used to this league and I'm hoping that with the players around me and I know the talent they've got in this squad, obviously I'm going to get loads of chances and I'm hoping that I can put them away. Did you speak to anyone about coming down here? Yeah, I've got quite a few friends um, who I've played at Accrington with who are from down here and they've had nothing but good words and said, how amazing it is down here, so I'm really looking forward to living down here and meeting, meeting other people. Both personally and as a team, what are your aspirations for next season? Promotion. I think, speaking to the gaffer, I think a club this size and with the talent and the players that we've got and the ambition, I think there's no reason why we can't put our minds to that. And just finally, have you got a message for the Pompey fans? Just thank you. You know, even the last couple of days, I was speaking to someone earlier just saying the messages and stuff it makes you realise how much, how passionate they are about the club and how, how great, basically how grateful I am, all the messages I've already received and I'm hope, hopefully I can meet them all soon and it'll, it'll be nice to actually put faces to, to names. Well, Carby, thanks very much for your time and all the best in the blue shirt. Thank you very much.